to another video so today I'm gonna do a full day of eating while on a bulk or really uh, muscle building program because a bulk I'm not really going too crazy as far as body fat I try to do what you call a lean bulk so I'm not eating a crazy amount of calories to gain unwanted fat so of course have to start off with breakfast I got some protein pancakes here now the pancakes I've been having for I would say around six to eight months right now found these at the grocery store and I've been addicted to them ever since these are called Kodiak cakes two servings is what I eat every single morning and it is 28 grams of protein and 400 uh, calories per two servings. Now, I also add for added protein, this Greek yogurt per serving, this is 17 grams of protein. This stuff is incredible because I use it all the time just to get in some extra protein. So this whole entire meal right here has right at 45 grams of protein, carbs is 69, fat is six, and it's 510 calories. And then of course, have a black coffee. So I'm gonna enjoy this, and then I'm gonna show you what we're gonna have next. So when I eat my protein pancakes, what are you eating today, Brady? We have him some French toast and nego. <gasps> Look good. Look that good. Uh, they're a little burnt. Uh, Oops. So I wanna run over the health supplements I take every single morning with breakfast. So the first one is a fish oil. I actually take this twice a day. I take it in the morning and then later on in the afternoon. I take one pill and then I take every single morning uh, the multivitamin by Muscle Tech, so the Platinum Series. Then take some extra vitamin C, some extra vitamin D3, and then I take clear muscle and I take this three times a day. I take it once in the morning and again right before my workout and then later on late in the afternoon. What do you got for me? I got a bucket. All right, give it to me. Let me see what it is. So I got a package in. We'll see what it is. I believe it is something for Disney. Oh boy. Oh boy. Look what daddy got for Disney. Look at the shirt. It's, what is that? What is it? It's Disney. Mickey. To go to Disney World. That thing right. looks massive. It does look really big. It looks very, very big. I, that's a large. Ooh. Goodness gracious. I'm gonna look so, like, chunky in this. Do a nice transition, try it on. <laughs> okay, it doesn't actually look too big on me. It looked massive holding it. Like, it looks so, like, wide, but it actually fits fine. Does it look good? Magical kingdom. Magic kingdom. Magic kingdom, here I come. <laughs> this is what uh, our three year old basically does when he sees us over here hugging. <laughs> He hates it. He hates it. <laughs> okay. We will stop. We will stop. So now we're moving on to lunch. I'm gonna have a breaded chicken sandwich. So Shelby's been making this chicken, uh, baking it. So it's like a healthy version of fried chicken and it tastes amazing. So she made a lot of it. So we've been eating it throughout the week. One of these buns is like 220 calories, which is pretty high, but the bun is large. I'm gonna have some pickles on there because this is gonna be like a Chick-fil-A sandwich and they always add pickles. I have a slice of this fat-free cheese, six ounces of chicken, uh, some ketchup and some light Miracle Whip. And I'm also gonna have some of these veggie straws, half a serving of veggie straws. And for the total for my lunch is 555 calories. Now, I talked about this in my last video about carb sources. When I was younger, I always had to eat like sweet potato, brown rice, 
uh, like the healthier carbs, but now that I've gotten older and kind of know more about nutrition, it really doesn't matter what kind of carb sources you eat. There's no such thing as like a bad carb or good carb. Now when I do start to cut my calories a lot, I will switch up my carb sources because of course this is not much volume. And for 220 calories, you can eat a whole lot of other items to get more volume because it's all about being full. When I'm in the off season, I'm able to eat more calories so I'm not that hungry throughout the day. But if I was trying to cut all my calories, I'd be eating more salads, more vegetables, uh, for the same amount of calories, but just way more volume. So this is what my chicken sandwich looks like. Just like Chick-fil-A. Look good, Kenley? <laughs> She's like, yeah, I would love that. I would love, just looking at it. Oh, that's mean. Oh, you can't have one, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'll give you something else. So the little girl has started to crawl. <coughs> Oop. Mm. Only for puffs though. <laughs> oh man, she's good. <laughs> You're fast now, girl. Yep, she is gonna be crawling all over this place. So you guys know I'm all about the Shatter Elite by Muscle Tech for pre-workout, but today we're gonna try some Nitro Cold Brew at 7-Eleven. We just got a brand new one right by our house, and I went to 7-Eleven last night to pick up something for Shelby, and I saw that they had this new Nitro Brew. So we're gonna give it a try. Now at Starbucks, I absolutely love Nitro Brew, so I'm hoping that 7-Eleven Nitro Brew is just as good, but we're gonna find out. All right, so I'm back with the coffees. Shelby's looked a little bit watery. She got uh, just cold brew and I put some, what, oat milk in there. Mm -hmm. So hoping that makes it a little bit better. Mine actually looks pretty decent. It does. So we're gonna, we're gonna try it out. I don't, I don't remember what the price was. I think it was like $5 for two. So I think it was like $2.50. Oh. So okay. it wasn't bad. Starbucks, it would be like $5 for one. Mine's good. It's good, not watery. It's not watery? No, it's not as strong as Starbucks, but it's not watery. Like, I wouldn't call it strong. Let me try yours, I'm not sure. Because yours just looked like water coming out for a second. No, it doesn't taste watery, it just doesn't taste strong. Yeah, I don't like yours at all. You don't? No, it's not strong at all. I like strong coffee. It's like really weak. What do you think about mine? That's good. Better than yours? I'm trying to compare it. Well, I think mine would be stronger if it didn't oh, have oatmeal. way milk. stronger. Yeah, but I think mine would be stronger without oat milk. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this I is like not it. bad. I would get this again. That I personally would not get. Just from what you I saw really, of it. He doesn't really like milk in his coffee. Though, no, period. I don't like, yeah, it's just got to be completely black. But when I was pouring that thing out, it was like water coming out for a second. And then it actually got darker as I poured it. So I was like, okay, that doesn't look great. This one was dark throughout the whole thing. You didn't get ready a Slurpee? Mm -mm. <laughs> Kid doesn't need no Slurpee. So don't mind the cocomelon playing in the background. So since I'm having the coffee, this is gonna be plenty of caffeine. I'm just gonna have a scoop of this Shatter pre-workout pump. This is a non-stem pre-workout by Muscle Tech. One of the best ones in my opinion. It's gonna help with the pump and it's also gonna help with endurance throughout my workout. So today is gonna be, it's an odd workout day. Today's gonna be hamstrings, triceps, and delts. Yesterday was quads and biceps. So it's gonna be like the second leg day in a row. But yesterday I only focused on quads and today I'm just gonna focus on hamstrings. So we're gonna be grilling out later on today some hamburgers and have some french fries. So that's where the majority of my calories will go. And that's great because it is gonna be post-workout and that's when I like to have the most calories anyway. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another workout. So if I sound different throughout this commentary, it's because I have a cold. I've had a cold for the past couple of days. Really does suck. Now I did get COVID tests done and I don't have a fever, so it is not COVID. So let's go ahead and jump straight into this workout. So the very first exercise is single leg lying leg curls. I did four sets of 10 reps on every single set. After I got done with the 10 reps, I would do 10 partial reps. After that, went into stiff leg dumbbell deadlifts. I did four sets of 15 reps on the last set, did a double drop set. After that, went into glute ham raises. I did four sets of around 15 to 20 reps. Now I was gonna go up heavier on this machine to do uh, the glute ham raises, but for whatever reason, this machine does not hold very many weights. Like the weights just completely fall off of this thing when I do this. I don't have any kind of clips that fit this actual machine. So anytime I go up more than like two plates on here, the plates will just fall off of this thing. So it is a pain in the butt to use this machine for more than uh, two plates on each side. After that went into uh, shoulders, I did seated dumbbell lateral raises. I did four sets of around eight to 10 reps. Super set 
with band side raises standing. I did four sets, 15 reps. On every single set, I did 10 partials after getting done with those 15 reps. So the reason for supersetting both of these exercises back to back is to go really heavy on the dumbbells for those eight to 10 reps, and then supersetting with the bands for those 15 reps so you go lighter so that you're able to get more volume in and fatigue that muscle even more. After that, went into dumbbell overhead press. I did four sets of eight to 10 reps on the last set, just did a single drop set. Now at this point during the workout, I'm not able to lift really heavy with the dumbbell shoulder press like I would if I started off with this movement because I'm already fatigued. I'm using the 100 pound dumbbells for these eight to 10 reps and I would typically go up to like the 110 pounds to 120 pounds for those eight reps. The weight doesn't always matter. You don't have to go extremely heavy every single workout as long as you're fatiguing that muscle. After that, went into the last exercise. It's a superset overhead rope extensions, four sets of 15 reps, superset with close grip push-ups to failure. And for me, that was around 15 to 20 reps. Now, when I'm doing the rope overhead extension here, I'm trying to constantly think, pull that rope apart up at the top. And when I couldn't pull that rope out at the top anymore, I would do a few more reps with the rope together. Uh, just so that I could go for a couple of more reps. And with the push-ups, I'm trying to keep my elbows to the side of my body as much as possible through this movement. Try to keep tension in the triceps throughout the whole range of movement so that it's really just focusing on that tricep and not my chest. But guys, that's the end of the workout. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to give this workout a try, it'll be written down in the description box. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. So just made it home. I'm a little behind on taking my products because I like to take them right after my workout, but I had to run to the grocery store because we were out of like Miracle Whip and I have to have that for burgers tonight. So I'm about to take the Nitrotech whey protein. So this protein right here already has the creatine mixed in. So I'm gonna have a scoop and a half of this protein. So a little bit different than the other protein that I normally uh, drink, the Isoway Clear. That has no creatine in it, so I have to take another product to get the creatine in there. And then I'm also gonna have a bowl of cereal, and then in about an hour to an hour and a half, I'm gonna make burgers and we'll eat dinner. And for the cereal choice today, I'm gonna be having the s'mores. Picked this up at the grocery store uh, today when I was there, and then for the liquid, I'm gonna use unsweetened vanilla almond milk. All right, so now we're grilling the burgers outside. I'm not sure how these burgers are gonna turn out because this was frozen meat, and I've never uh, tried to cook burgers with frozen meat, so we defrosted it in the microwave. There's like so much liquid in there, I could not form them up correctly, so I'm thinking they're just gonna fall apart. I'm hoping not, but we're gonna see. So dinner is served, so I have right at eight ounces of 96.4 lean ground beef with a slice of fat-free cheese. Got ketchup on there, got some pickles, and I have two servings of Red Robin fries. Those things are incredible. You can buy them at the grocery store. So this meal for me is right at 605 calories. Kinley is having her first thing of beef. You like it, Kinley? You like so burger? I cooked her just a burger with no salt or anything on it, but she's enjoying it. And Brady's just digging into that burger. Is that burger good? <laughs> yeah. It is? <laughs> Your hair. He slept real hard. Yeah, he just woke up from his nap. Like, we had to wake him up to eat dinner. She's just stuffing it in. You only have two teeth. You gotta chew it. Chew it with your gums. So now it's Brady's bedtime. Kinley's already off to bed. Don't look behind me. That's... <laughs> other stuff I got from the grocery store. It's nothing, nothing, nothing. So Brady is going to tell you all uh, peace because he's not going to end the video. Oh, I can't really say that to him because he'll be sad. Uh, because I still need to eat another meal and I'm going to show you what I'm going to have for dessert. So I have some extra calories. So Brady, tell everyone. Oh, I got to guess I got to do the whole thing. Uh, <laughs> give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you all next time. All right, guys. Oh wow, that's a lot of peace. All right, buddy. Good night. Good night, night. I love you. I love you. Peace. Oh, okay. So now on to dessert. I'm gonna have one more meal later on tonight, just not right now, uh, because I want to space out my protein a little bit. So that's gonna have like Greek yogurt and some protein powder in there. Uh, but for dessert, I'm gonna have frozen yogurt. This stuff is incredible. 
170 calories per serving, and I'm about to show you what a serving is in ice cream, which is so, so sad. It will really make you like understand why you're not losing weight if you're just eating ice cream all the time and not weighing it. All right, so a serving size is 96 grams. 86, <laughs> getting close. And there we go. That is a serving of ice cream. That is 170 <laughs> calories. That is so sad. So we finished dessert and finished our TV show, and now it is 10.50 at night, about to have my last meal. Now I wanted to tell you guys, I did add some M&Ms M &Ms to my ice cream. This is actually really good, the classic mix. It has uh, milk chocolate, peanut butter, and peanut M&Ms all together, so that was really good. So that just added some more calories because I was looking over uh, my fitness pal and I needed extra calories. So the last meal is gonna be the Greek yogurt again. This is an incredible uh, dessert even. If you did not want to have ice cream, if you don't have the calories for ice cream, you could substitute that with this uh, because it tastes amazing. I'm having this grass-fed whey protein, a scoop of this by Muscle Tech, and I'm gonna mix this in with the Greek yogurt. So I have a serving of the Greek yogurt in there, and then just mix it up into a pudding. And that chocolate with that Greek yogurt is amazing. So that's gonna give me some extra protein on the day. So let me go over the macros really quickly with you. Uh, this seems really low for someone my size, but you got to understand that my calories will change day to day. Nothing is really set in stone, and I go off of how much body fat I am gaining. And if I'm gaining way too much body fat, then I'll lower my calories. And then on top of that, I go off of recovering how my workouts are going. So if I'm having great workouts and I'm recovering really well, I know that I'm in a good stage. And then if my recovery seems to go down or I'm not recovering as fast, then I will up my calories and up my protein and my macros and everything. So I kind of go off of how I feel and then looking in the mirror more than anything. So keep that in mind. So today's calories was 2675, macros was 234 grams, I said that weird, 234 grams of protein, carbs was 302, and fat was 58. But guys, I'm gonna end the video here. Hope you enjoyed this full day of eating, and if you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. All right, guys, peace. I'm gonna look so, like, chunky in this. Do a nice transition, try it on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, babe. What? What a thing. Oh, no.